what is up everybody out there here on mind test and i'm doing a video on the mod that i've been talking about called woolen mesh creator now you can get this mod on uh, content db mind test where you get mods you'll just have to type in search of uh, mesh and it should show up on there now, I'm going to explain a little bit and try the best I can to just get this out there to let you know how to use it. It's not that complicated. It's really easy. All you do is you go to your meshes. You'll find these. you got like 2, 4, 16, 64. Now each one of these is one square block. And don't never overlap them. See, like if I put this down here, it's going to overlap that one. You got to keep these these grid lines perfectly lined up and even. Let's see, I'll show you. Put like if I wanted to keep it even, I'd have to find the sweet spot, which would be right there. See, it's perfectly lined up. Now, when I build in this one and build the same build over into inside of this one i can save like this part number whatever left or right and this part whatever left now you got to put these down underneath it and you always want to kind of make sure it's facing forward away from the block that you use to make it I've never tried to do it sideways, so I don't know how that works. I always just keep it in front. That way when I put the block down or whatever I make, it'll be in that direction. Now, as you can see, I already set up a huge one to build like big, gigantic stuff if I want to. And once you do that, though, you just take your wool because it uses wool that's all it'll like i guess register in it so and it kind of sucks because you don't have a skin color you know like a cream skin color tone in the wool on mine test so you it kind of limits you on what you can make like you can't do like naruto or any kind of characters or anything it has like skin tone because you don't have it but you still do tons and tons of stuff. Just make sure whatever you decide to build before you get started, you have every color that you need. Because you don't want to get halfway through your build and be like, oh man, I don't have that color. I just wasted all my time. <laughs> but you just build whatever you want inside the grid. Go over here to the machine. Type in the name of whatever it is. Now, depending on how big your build is, you might want to increase the max faces to like a higher number. Because if uh, you go over the limit of the number, uh, you'll be missing blocks. So I always just crank it up. Doesn't matter. It won't affect the build or anything. It'll just keep you from having missing blocks if you went over the limit. Then you just go up to capture to capture what you built. And then you leave the map and come back into this your map or another map and it'll be in your inventory. It should be under mesh or just whatever you named it. Hey, I have a bunch. Let's see. Like I said though, the the bigger it is and the more pieces you're gonna have. So it'll be like a puzzle whenever you're putting it together. So you're like that thing from Resident Evil 2, it's inside the police station. It's in two pieces. Let's see, get rid of this. Um, I, I don't know if it makes a difference to make your build solid or empty. My first ones that I did, I left them uh, empty inside but i don't know if that has anything to do with the uh, performance or anything i don't really have any performance problems but i definitely depending on how many you're going to be making you might want to get a little bit of extra ram or make sure you have 
Like most people these days got 16 gigabytes of RAM anyway, so it ain't no big deal. You could probably get by on less unless you just have tons and tons of mods and you build tons and tons and tons of models. But I wouldn't worry too much about it. I'll show you how to stack these things. It's the same thing as putting side by side if uh, you went up. Like if you go up to the next level to build one above it, you're going to have to keep it lined up. Put it right above the other one where the lines are at the top. And always use the same size because they all they have to be lined up perfectly. Like this would be right here. Okay, that would be perfectly lined up if it was the same size. I don't have the same size. It's nighttime stuff's killing me. Um, let's see what else. I'm gonna have to go up with mine. Mine's probably like eight or nine or ten, like wide, but it's only one high. I'm gonna have to go higher to be able to build like tall stuff instead of just like wide stuff. But I mean, you can go crazy with it, build whatever you want. As long as you got the colors and wool and uh, you want to take the time to do it, you can build really anything you want to. It'll just be, the bigger it is, it'll just be in lots of pieces. One of the cool things is like uh, these small blocks, you can build pretty simple stuff with, you know, not a lot of detail in them, but it's still one block. But the bigger you go with like these, you can put more detail than that one. And the biggest ones, these, you can put just tons and tons of detail in them. Like I said, you could, you could just build your own block in there and put whatever you want on the outside of it or whatever color, as long as you got the colors. I mean, really, I guess you, if you built the grid big enough, you could build a, a gigantic mobile suit in there or a Godzilla or whatever you want if you're willing to take the time to do it and you got the colors <laughs> you could do it I built some pretty big cool stuff I'm mostly building like stuff I need to just decorate my builds there's a RPD police station barrier like you'd see on the streets of Raccoon City. Yeah. Once you build something inside of these and save it, you can go to another map and put it down. We'll put one of these down, go into it, and go to Give Me Meshes, and it'll have everything you've built, and you can just... Uh, Spawn that in your other map if you want a big version of whatever it is. Like if I wanted that candy corn on my other map where I got all my builds, I could just put down this, I think it's 64. Yep. And set it up where I want it to be and then just spawn it and it'd be there. I wouldn't have to build it again by hand. That's another really cool thing about it. Yeah, I built this stuff over Halloween. Got some blood dripping down the walls kind of stuff. Built a chain. Some spooky stuff. Tombstone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so you can build some pretty cool stuff. Got Samus, Metroid, and Bulbasaur. That's a vase from... Uh, a link to the past. I just thought it'd be cool to make one. I uh, got the cannon from Super Mario 64. It's in two pieces. 
I'll uh, use that on my Peach's Castle build. And you can get pretty crazy with it and build, you know, just some cool stuff. You know, if you're building skinny stuff, you know, just like one block, it works fine. I ain't had no problems out of anything, making anything. I mean, that's one square block right there. I mean, you could probably do some pretty wild stuff with that. That's just something weird that I made. Just out of the blue for fun. And, uh, let me see. Is there anything else? Just remember, it is Wool and Mesh Creator, and you can get it on Content DB Mind Test. Just search it. Might have to search Mesh. I guess that's everything. If I missed anything, I'll, uh, make another video because I'm going to make another video showing off all the models that I've built. I'm just going to set them all up and make a video showing them all off. But, uh, thanks for watching. I hope I covered everything properly. I'm pretty sure I got everything down. Just check it out. You'll figure it out. It's not that hard. And have fun making some cool models for your mind test game. To decorate your stuff with. Uh, if you enjoy my video, uh, leave me a like or comment. If you need any kind of help, just let me know. I'm willing to help you and talk to you. Uh, peace out. All right, I almost forgot. Thankfully, I remembered, and I jumped back on here. Uh, there's one more thing that I have to say and show you. And then you'll be ready to rock and roll building your models. Okay. When you're building on up inside here, you're going to want to put the next block on the opposite side of the line. It still has to be lined up with that one over there. But put it on the opposite side. That way it'll be lined up. I think. Uh, yeah. But I'm using a smaller block. I need the uh, 64. Yeah. That's all I'm using on this map. 64. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, it might be wrong, actually. It might have to be on the... Yeah, it has to be on the back side. That's right. It has to be on the back side at the, at the end of this one, basically. And then the same thing again. It should be on the back side. And then the back side. And whenever you do your... Uh, like outer sides, I'll show you whenever I get over. This thing's huge. Model maker world. <laughs> Man, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm just so sleepy. Need to go to bed. I want to get this done though. Come on, man. Move it. Hustle, hustle. You can turn, uh, you can put uh, them on the side sideways. But I wouldn't do it unless uh, I had to or if you just want to. I try to just keep everything straight. But just remember, you want to definitely be two blocks high, because that's how high you are if you're building anything tall. You just have to go by your block. What I usually do whenever I make a map like this, I'll uh, go on the outside of the line. See how it's lined up? 
and I'll go all the way around the whole thing like the on the outside just because it looks cool but this one's so big I really don't think I'm going to well anyway now that I've solved that problem and you know how to do that now I am out of here. <laughs>